What's up guys? I'm going to do a quick unboxing of the MP10. Come out. Instructions, stickers, mud guards, stone guards. Some white wheels, very thankful for that because I actually run right or right. I actually run white wheels. Jeez, talk much. Gas tank, fuel lines, receiver box, battery box. Looks like bulkhead for the front, front shock tower, some bearings. Got some shocks, springs, pistons, all that good stuff. Thinking this is the back part of the car. It's got white suspension pills, which very thankful for that because I run white suspension pills. Full arms. That's the front suspension stuff. Got the shock. Got the rear shock tower, some of the differential gears, brakes, some of the steering stuff. Air filter, looks like linkage. Got clutch. Flywheel, engine mounts. Black wing, I need a white one. It's the body, I'm, eh, I guess I'm kind of a fan of it. It's a little, little odd. Kind of like the, the old school body to be honest. So that's kind of the paint scheme we got going on. Body's not too bad though. I like it. Chassis. Have a confession to make. I was going to do a time lapse putting this thing together. But I've already, I've already built one, so might do a time lapse of building this guy if, uh, if it goes that route. But y'all are never going to hear this because I'm going to edit this part out. <laughs> Yeah. That's the finished product right there. That's what the kit looks like all together. Just got this thing built. Got a titanium screw kit. If you can really, you guys can see that. Titanium turnbuckles. Some hot boy screws to make the car look good. A little bit of red. Running the B7. Don't really know much about the engines, but they seem to be doing pretty good. Uh, high tech servos, 
Love these, love high tech servos, they're really good. AKA tires and wheels. I always use the steel screws on the bottom, mainly because they're gonna get chewed up and look like, uh, you know, garbage after a couple of runs anyway. So just always use those on the bottom so I can throw them away and once they get chewed up. It's a really good looking car. I haven't had a chance to run it yet. But knowing Kyosha, I'm sure it's going to be an awesome car. Definitely looking forward to uh, doing some engine break-in and get this thing on the track. If you can guys can see in there. But I'm running the, uh, nope, not going to work. The slotted and drilled brake rotors so yep that's it guys still have to paint the body but she's together almost ready to hit the track uh, all right real quick i figured i would do a uh side by side of the new mp10 and my old uh, mp9 but you can kind of see the They've made a, you know, a lot of changes. But you can get on the website and see all this stuff, but still. Both the cars are kind of built the same way. Titanium turnbuckles, titanium screws. I, running the uh, aluminum, I forgot what they call that thing. But the aluminum brace back there, the chassis brace. And I'll try to get a... Ah, I can't get it. You can kind of see the slotted drill brakes, but I'm just a sucker for those guys because I'm a car guy, so they just look kind of cool. And uh, the new wing mount. So, and on this one, running the uh, the B6. It's been a good motor. hadn't had any issues out of I ha hadn't had any issues out of it, so. Can't complain. The very, very shot set of tires after after running at last. Still again with high tech servos. But I'll try to get a a running video on the track here really soon. Not the best driver, but I can keep it uh, in between the pipes for at least a second or two. <laughs> Alright, so that'll be it guys. Hope you enjoyed.